In this video, we're gonna talk about what it's like to live in downtown Des Moines and the surrounding areas. I'm Kelsey Jones, a local Des Moines realtor, and on this channel, Living in Des Moines, we talk about everything Des Moines and the surrounding suburbs and areas, what it's like to live, visit, and spend your time here. The city of Des Moines has a population of about 215,000. It is growing slightly, but it's not one of those major cities that has rapid growth. There is a lot of work opportunity in the downtown area. We have multiple business districts, business buildings that have their main like customer service hubs, main buildings, uh, insurance companies are down there as well. Des Moines is a true four seasons city where you get a hundred degree summer, you get a true spring and fall, and we definitely get snow in the winter and sometimes temperatures down in the negatives. But you really get to experience all seasons in this city, which makes it really unique. Traffic here in Des Moines, while it can get a bit congested around the downtown area at your typical rush hour times, it's no big city. The longest that it would maybe take would be like 20 or 30 minutes to get around town unless you're traveling from like one of the suburbs to another suburb. It's really easy to commute by car. Our bus lines, that's a different story. It's not typically super easy to travel around the city via bus. It's going to take quite a bit longer than you know taking your car. One thing that is really unique about Des Moines is this city is extremely bikeable. So if you live downtown and you did not want to have a car, you could bike all around the downtown area and to the south side and the north side there are a lot of bike lanes around in this area. Right now we are actually at Grays Lake which is just south of Des Moines. The bike trails intersect here. It's got an amazing walking path where you go right around the lake. Right next to it is Waterworks Park. If you live downtown you could bike here or potentially walk here and enjoy all of this nature. We are now driving to downtown from the Grays Lake area. As you can see, we're gonna make a little detour in Waterworks Park. It is so gorgeous out here. There are sometimes concerts or little festivals that the city will hold out here, but a lot of times it's just people walking and enjoying all that nature has to offer. As we leave the Grays Lake area, we are gonna go ahead and take Fleur downtown in Des Moines. Fleur is one of the main roads that takes you from the airport to downtown and just around the city. Off of Fleur, there is MLK East. MLK East is one of the main streets that runs through south of the main downtown area. I think this is one of the more beautiful roads to come in to the downtown area. We have made it. We are at the elusive Court Avenue in downtown. There are restaurants, bars galore so if you like to go out and have a good time this is the area for you down here there are plenty of places to rent and also buy two of my favorite loft buildings that you can actually buy down here are the brown camp lofts and the white line lofts they both have that traditional feel of cement floors industrial look and they're both really really cool and very walkable to the court avenue area in the Court Avenue area, everything on the first floor is mainly going to be your entertainment. But as you can see, above all of these restaurants and bars, it's mostly apartments. So you can live right above where you want to go and have dinner and it's a short walk. You could, if you work down here and you live down here, you could go without a car, but you are gonna have to Uber to go to like your Target and any sort of entertainment outside of the downtown area because Des Moines just doesn't have everything that you need in its downtown area. But because of the grocery store, you could get by a couple weeks down here without even driving your car or having a car. Parking is a little scarce. Everything is metered parking or 
monthly parking if you want to go in a parking garage or parking spaces it can vary from oh, roughly 60 a month to well up to maybe 200 a month depending on where you're parking monthly but you are gonna have to walk a little bit from where you live or you work to your parking garage or parking space so that is something to consider in the colder months of iowa the good news is is if you do own a condo here in downtown des moines most of those do come with underground heated parking so that's a little bit of a, a bonus if you do buy downtown des moines. if you're coming here to visit or you want a little des moines staycation and you do want to stay in this area i love the surety hotel it has beautiful rooms it's within walking distance of court avenue but you're not right on court avenue and it's a fun place to stay to experience des moines and have a little bit of luxury as well so we're gonna go to our next little hidden gem but i did want to talk to you about the des moines farmers market we're walking where normally this would be lined with businesses food vendors everything and it is every saturday and it is so much fun it's one of the bigger farmers markets in the united states so fun fact before we head to the east village i wanted to take you guys over my favorite little bridge in downtown this is the ninth street bridge which really only if you live here you'd only drive over it heads to the south side but it is just so fun and it just gives you a really good view of downtown we are now at the des moines river walk this is the dividing section between downtown, like Court Avenue and East Village. Uh, west, we've got Court Avenue, East, East Village, of course. This is a really fun area, especially if you live down here, because you can do like a walking trail or a running trail up and down the river, and it's really beautiful. You don't even feel like you're working out because you're so entertained. And there are sculptures. Uh, murals and we have our newly built skate park which the Des Moines Dew Tour came here uh, two times and it's been a really fun event for the community and it brings people in town and gets people uh, jazzed about Des Moines. We are walking to the East Village from the Riverwalk Bridge. You could, if you lived in Port Avenue, you could absolutely walk down here and walk back no problem. Uh, I have definitely done it before. I would not re recommend it in high heels. Not comfortable. But next to us right now is the Brenton Skating Plaza. In the winter, it's an outdoor ice rink. And in the summer, it's a music venue. We've made it. We're in the East Village right now. It's lunchtime, so it's a little busier than normal. Restaurants are full and people are out and about on their lunch break. I have worked in the East Village before, so I've noticed that a lot of people will work from home or work in these businesses and then they'll get out on lunchtime and walk around, grab lunch, have a coffee. There's a lot of community in the East Village and you tend to see the same faces and you meet people while you're living or working in this area. Out of all the areas in Des Moines, East Village has great community. And when I say community, I mean they have events that all of the shops put on together, such as Promenade is a huge one in the winter. It's like a holiday kind of feel where everyone stays open late and they have beverages and you just bundle up and walk shop to shop and you get to know everyone in your community and it's a super fun event that they have every year. If you're wanting to live here and buy, I would recommend the Banks area. They have townhomes and they're currently building condos as well. They are like one street off of the main East Village area and still even walkable to the Court Avenue area, but you're off of the main traffic area and it feels more cozy and feels more like home. There are also, of course, tons of apartments down here. A lot of them are that same loft style. And once again, they're above the businesses, which are on the main floor. In the East Village, you're gonna find more shopping, boutiques, and local small businesses than bars and restaurants per se. You still have like your bars and your restaurants and your entertainment, of course, but it's not quite as wild as the Court Avenue. You can definitely still stay out until 2 a.m. and have some fun, but it's not going to be like a nightclub crazy music, dancing everywhere. It's more of like a, a chill, hang out, go out to eat, have some drinks kind of vibe. If you're gonna go ahead and plan a visit here or you live in Des Moines and you wanna stay down in the East Village, I personally love the AC Hotel. It is right on the corner of everything. So you can just park, forget your car and just walk around the whole weekend and have fun. Uh, especially if you're coming in for a concert 
Woolies venue is down in the East Village and that is a really fun time. It's a great music venue and you can go out afterwards and, ha and have a few beverages, have dinner, and it's right in the walkable East Village area. Before we head to Sherman Hill, we had to stop by the Sculpture Park. This is a hub for a lot of the bigger businesses downtown, but since the start of COVID and the work from home transition, it's going to be interesting to see what the city does and if those businesses will keep their large office spaces down here. Nationwide is toying with the idea of selling to the city and a lot of these insurance companies and larger corporations have other business districts out in West Des Moines in the Jordan Creek area and downtown. So it'll be interesting to see if they consolidate those and just move everyone to work from home or downtown and turn this into potentially living spaces, apartments or whatnot. So we'll have to stay tuned on that. But you can also find apartments. It's a little more sparse just because of the businesses, but there are some restaurants down here that have apartments above. And we also have the gas lamp. If you love live music, that's a fun place to go. Horizon Line Coffee is, in my opinion, the best coffee shop in Des Moines. And it's right by the Sculpture Park area. This is where the main like street festival area is. They'll block off the streets and you can walk around, they'll set up shop and it's a fun time no matter what event it is. Let's go head to Sherman Hill. on the list for downtown is Sherman Hill. This is a Victorian paradise. Every house is so special in this area and a lot of these have been updated and renovated. There's only like a handful of houses that are run down. The rest of these have been painted historically correct and they're updated to the nines with all the original character. As you drive around it's just so charming. It doesn't even look like it's in Des Moines. It looks like it's a blast from the past. If you are staying here and you get an Airbnb, I know there are a few in this area in these charming old houses, but they're usually booked up. So this is a good place if you still want to be downtown, but you don't want to be in the city feel. It's maybe a five minute walk down to that sculpture park area we were just at earlier and you can be close to downtown, but it just it's peaceful as you can tell. If you're looking to move here or live in this area, there are houses, there are a few townhomes. Uh, I know there are a few condo buildings down here as well. Uh, if you do live down here, there is a gateway market. It's a local supermarket with a restaurant that you can walk to, or it's like a one minute drive to right in your area. There's also a couple breweries. There's Lua and Big Grove, which are within walking distance of here and each other. And it's really fun if you just want to grab a couple beers you can walk from one to the other and walk back home if you live down here super great dog friendly you can bring, bring your dogs on the patio which is always fun but it's just a, a great place to be in Des Moines so if you've made it this far thank you for watching this video this was a longer one but there are so many details to downtown Des Moines we just couldn't do a quick five minute video we wanted to show you anything and everything it is to move here live here visit here and experience downtown Des Moines if you like what you saw please like and subscribe and if you have any questions email us and we can uh, get you answers on anything you need to know see ya